I will turn Abia into Japan of Africa. Alex Oti vows to Yoruba community. Can you imagine? <laughs> what you have to do with Yoruba community? Okay, Yoruba community in Abia State. Have you? So he will turn Abia into Japan of Africa. Actually, it's just unfortunate that uh, previous governments are not recognizing the Igbo's, uh, uh, you know, Igbo's drive for manufacturing. This Abia state is one of the major states that is on into manufacturing today in this country, but they are not being supported by any government. So we just hope that Alex Oti can do this. Because even Tinubu came and promised the Igbo during campaign that he will turn the Southeast into the Japan or into the China and Dubai of uh, of Nigeria. But <laughs> well, all we're seeing shows that he's not going to do it. The Abia State Governor Alex Oti had disclosed plans to make Abia Aba, okay, the Japan of Africa in technology development and ease of business. Nigeria News learned that Oti made this known during a courtesy visit of the Yoruba community in Abia State to the Governor House in Omaha. Now, the Governor, represented by his Chief of Staff Caleb uh, Ajaba stressed that the stressed the need for peaceful coexistence between the Yorubas and their host communities. He also vowed to Abians and state residents that his administration would continue to provide an enabling environment for all citizens to pursue their legitimate activities and businesses. Uti further reiterated his administration's commitment to transforming and repositioning the state on the part of socioeconomic development and his administration will uh, continue to make transparency, accountability and good governance his watchwords. The governor thanked the Yoruba community for their contributions to the economic growth of the state and support to his administration. Also speaking, the President General of the Yoruba United Community in Abia, Abia State, Yusuf Okikade, said that uh, their visit was to congratulate OT on its resounding victory at the post and appeal to the state government for allocation of a parcel of land for their secretariat. Can you imagine? Hmm. For their secretariat. Go and rent now. Eh? When the Yorubas are pushing people out of... I think OT should not do this one. When the Yorubas are pushing people out of, uh, especially Lagos, trying to claim people's properties. People are asking for land for their secretariat. Before you know it, it becomes an empire. Now, if you want to be secretariat, go and buy the land. Simple. Go and buy the land. Go and buy the land. Go and buy the land. He described Governor Oti as the Moses of our time and lauded him for his giant strides in all facets of the state economy. Okay. So that is exactly why they went to visit him to appreciate him. And in the presence of that, um, Alex Oti has appreciated them for visiting him, for congratulating him, and has promised to make sure that they will make life meaningful and they will provide all amenities that are required to make her businesses thrive in the state. And then uh, he has also asked them to ensure there is peaceful coexistence between themselves or coexistence between themselves and the host communities to avoid fighting and misunderstanding okay so in line with that now they're asking for a parcel of land to be the secretary why can't they buy it yeah all the land that Igbo people owns in outside the Igbo land they bought them and they paid so if you are for video secretary you go and buy the land and don't come and ask for governor to give you a parcel of land before you know it it becomes a right forever and problem will start alex ot should not i think alex ot should what should risk assess that before granting it that is it let them go and buy the land simple there's no parcel of land for that kind of thing okay so there are a few comments here somebody saying i am not Igbo, but i know that if the leaders and all collaborate perfectly the Igbo extraction will build nigeria but they must first start with building Eastern Nigeria, it is doable, one law. Can you imagine? That's good. Correct. Somebody say, you, Buddy, charity begins at home. Yes, Buddy. Okay. 
Uh, somebody say you are demanding aid from the state, but we bought landed properties in Yoruba land and develop it. And all you people was very quiet when Igbos are threatened to leave Lagos. Okay, but today there's Yoruba uh, in Igbo land seeking for a land and cars for their own economic development. I'm not against what you are seeking, but <laughs> your attitude towards Igbo's people are not good. That is good. Reasonable comment. Someone say, who force you or who tell you that Nigeria is one? I beg, it's not by force. You can tell them to go back to their place. Nobody is feeding anybody. Yeah, that is your own opinion as well. Uh, so say, Yorubas are welcome everywhere in Igbo land, but to allocate them land eh, is dead before arrival. They should buy land anywhere they live and build their secretariat. Nobody is against them. Igbos bought their lands from Yorubas in the West, not by allocation. Coming to state politics, you have to invest well in the state like we do, we do in their own state before you become a stakeholder. So you can't be a stakeholder without anything to hold in the state or get. Guinea Kina stake he or Bubiko. Can you imagine? Okay, do like we do in the West. We like it well. <laughs> you are correct. Igbo didn't buy Alaba International Market. It was donated by Governor Latif Jokondi. Hmm. Are they not paying there? So the, 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 the 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 market is owned by Lagos. It's not owned by the Igbos. The Igbos rented all the stores there and are paying. So what are you saying? So that is not allocation of land. So I always say that Igbos have the passion to develop wherever they settle to do business, and I love them for that. But let them apply some passion, same passion developing their cities. In fact, they have what it takes to turn some of their cities like Aba and Anisha to some industrial commercial cities in Asia. Yes. Is it to buy land and build a shop means development? So which of their cities is less developed than yours? <laughs> Keep doing the good work, sir. Okay. You better talk less as Richard Solido and their northern uncle Buhari said than this and in the end no result to show. So yeah, so Alex will teach you better talk less. That's what somebody is telling him here. To talk is cheap. So better talk less. People in the past have said a lot and they achieved less. So be careful what you say and what you promise. Hmm? So that is what is happening in uh, in uh, Abia State, in Alba and Omar here, that the governor has promised to turn Abia to Japan of Africa. All right, to... Thank you for listening. Please have your comments.